for Minnesota. Underneath in the post, Towns and Gobert. Hiding in at the wing, it'll be Edwards and McDaniel. And it's Conley in at the point. Now here's Murray. Caldwell Pope kicks to Porter. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Jaden McDaniel. When you get inside, there's all kinds of traffic. This is the result as Porter Jr. is going to get to the foul. This is his first chance at the line tonight. He throw good. Porter. Porter drops them both. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Edwards kicks to Conley. Outside, Towns. And here's Edwards from the arc. Denver grabs the miss. Caldwell Pope right side. Misses the lane. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And talented in so many ways. Edwards is focusing on two things. The refining of his shot mechanics and the sustained level of engagement. First one falls for him. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 19 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Jackson. Reed with the rebound. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Prince, the pass to Anderson. And here's Edwards from the... Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter! Ringing the bell. That's the way to close the quarter. Well, you love nailing the last second shot. Always a feel-good moment. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Timberwolves ahead, up by three. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from game three. And what do you guys think about Minnesota here in this one? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. Two big men inside, Towns and Gobert. And there's McDaniels, and it's Conley, and it's Noel in at the two guard. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Here's Noel. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. This offense just continues to impress. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Murray finds Porter. Lots of five. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. And teammates more and more looking for plays from Murray like that. Passes to McDaniels. Back to Conley. Towns up top. Makes it off the glass. Now that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Conley against Murray. Pass to Jokic. Gobert with the defensive effort. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots 
when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And that'll do it for the first half, a competitive game so far. Timberwolves lead by five. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Carl. Impressive start for you. What's the mentality going into a game like this? Uh, just being aggressive. Uh, really played like, really played well at all the first half myself. I'm missing, all of us are missing a lot of easy money. So missing layups for us as pros. So uh, second half, we make those layups. Uh, let's be far. We'll see if you stick to the script. Thanks very much, man. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Looking at Minnesota, they're facing a second half that will either put them on the brink of elimination or breathe new life into this series. One thing's for sure. They can't let this game get away and expect to have a decent chance to rebound from a 3-0 deficit. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? They run this offense seamlessly. Each guy seems to understand his role. They're making smart decisions with the basketball. And I can give a shout out to the playmakers. This team's success is because of you, brother. And Shaq, your take on Denver. Well, their paint presence was non-existent. They haven't put any pressure on the defense in terms of attacking the cup. It's simple. If you want to be successful in this league, you can't be a one-dimensional jump-shooting team. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. Round one, thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. You have to like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. There must be ice water in his veins. Such an important game, and he plays superb basketball in that opening half. Still interesting to see if in this second half he can find ways to get to those same spots. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Second half is underway. Here's who Michael Malone's got on the floor. The forward spots will be Porter Jr. and Gordon. Murray and Caldwell Pope, the guards. And it's Jokic in at the five, roaming the paint. Six on the shot clock. Poked away. Jokic with the steal. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. Some changes for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. And it's Anderson in for McDaniel. And a switcher also for Denver. Ryan is checked in for Nikola Jokic. Conley kicks to Edwards. Back to Conley. There's the pass to Edwards. He dishes it to Conley. Shot clock at five. Here's Towns. Got it. Good job in the low post. Towns has got the lead up to seven now for the Timberwolves. And how about Towns there taking full advantage of that size, just dominating the glass on that second chance opportunity. Murray with it. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And we've reached the end of the third. Minnesota on top. They're up by seven. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. 
Nas Reed out there with Torian Prince. And it's Conley, and it's Rudy Gobert, and it's Edwards in at the shooting guard. So that's the Timberwolves' five. And Joe Edwards will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Back to Conley. Over Jackson. And too long on the shot. And so here's Denver. Green inside. Headed by Prince. Good! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Some changes for Minnesota. Carl Anthony Towns comes in for Nas Reed. And it's McDaniels in for Torian Prince. Denver also making some changes. Aaron Gordon is checking in for Najee. Porter comes in for Jeff Green. And Murray subbed in for Jackson. And an intentional foul right there. Shooting two. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. And it's Jokic missing. Now the Timberwolves with it. Outside Conley. And so Minnesota takes the win. Things were looking bleak for him, obviously, coming into this game. But with tonight's win, Greg, they are right back in it. And, 